It's with deep sorrow that we inform you that the royal family has confirmed that Queen Elizabeth II is no more. A brief statement that's been put in from the royal family currently. Let's read it out to you. The statement reads, and I quote, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. So this is the big breaking news that's come in right now. The royal family members, most of them, are currently at Balmoral Castle, as is in fact the norm, as is protocol. Operation London Bridge is now in effect, and flags across the United Kingdom are flying at half-mast. This is no exaggeration to say it truly is the end of an era, as Queen Elizabeth II, the longest-serving monarch in the world, is no more passing away at the age of 96. The royal family has put out a brief statement saying that the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral. Uh, and uh, at this point, what we're being told is that her remains will be kept at the Balmoral Castle for some more time. Family members at this point are still coming together. It is with uh, deep sorrow that we confirm the news that's been put out now by the royal family. Prince Charles, Camilla, all of them are currently at Balmoral uh, in fact, along with several other family members. I want to take this across to Lavina Tandon. She's joining us from London. Truly, truly the end of an era, not just for the United Kingdom, but for the world, Lavina. Take us through what's happening there. Absolutely, Akshita. She ruled and how. And everybody, almost everybody, has had uh, a kind of endearment for her she has respected across the board and she has done phenomenal work for the country relentlessly and consistently now um, what happens next is uh, Britain is of course a place where a lot of protocol and a lot of ceremony is held across everything so uh, the operation of this entire operation of the Queen passing away uh, is called the Operation London Bridge. So London Bridge uh, it goes down uh, and at this point in time this is how it is it's indicated that the death of Her Majesty uh, is communicated to the Prime Minister and the Queen's Private Secretary. The foreign official the, or the foreign office, it is the foreign office who sends out then to the 15 governments outside the UK where the Queen is the head of state, and to 38 countries of the Commonwealth, where she is the figurehead. About, uh, they inform them about the news, and the Queen's dying day will be known going forward as the day. And then uh, the flags across Whitehall will be lowered to half mast. The Press Association gives out the news and not the BBC. Uh, the news flash first goes out from press association and the royal family website will turn into a black page with a statement confirming uh, Her Majesty's death. Also, it is um, conveyed to the outside the Buckingham Palace. It is usually uh, on an easel that uh, the statement is given out by the royal family.